Oh, hello. Wayne's World. I don't know if it's in tune, actually. Let me tune it up. It is stupid. I don't like that one. Party time. Do I say hi, YouTube? Should I? Hello, this is Matt Costa here, and I'm retaking over my YouTube channel, Matt Costa TV, because I felt like there was so much more that I wanted to say, I wanted to do, and wanted to communicate, and have you communicate to me, and me communicate back to you, to where it becomes a cyclical thing that just loops and loops over itself until we're figuring out the mysteries of the universe. So join me regularly here on YouTube. Today we're gonna to talk about picking out your first guitar, whether it's for yourself or whether it's for someone else. We're gonna talk about the things that you need to pick out the best guitar possible for whatever price you have. I've got my guitar here. This one is a Fender, but there are many guitars that work. I think the first thing that people are drawn to is the way that it looks. Some people like all black, some people like sunburst, some people like a darker mahogany. All that aside, you want one that just works. Workings of a guitar go into just the tuning pegs, the distance of the strings to the neck, which is the action, and the tunability of the instrument itself. If you don't have any of that, then you don't have a guitar that can work that you can play with. That's the most important thing. Aside from how it looks, aside from all that, you can have the coolest looking guitar, but you can't play a song on it, or you can't play a note on it. Firstly, what you want to do is make sure that the tuning knobs stay tight so they keep your strings in tune. If they don't stay in tune, well then you'll never be able to play chords that sound good. They'll just keep going out of tune and it'll always sound bad, and uh, that's a big problem. If you want to sound good, then you got to make sure that the tuners are good. Secondly, uh, you want to make sure that the guitar is comfortable to play as far as the strings being at a decent height that aren't going to kill you to push them all the way down. You don't want to push extra hard to get the chord you want, but it's going to hurt no matter what if you're starting to play. So a little bit of pain when you're pushing down is going to be it's going to be part of course. Thirdly, you want to make sure the guitar stays in tune from down here all the way up to the 12th fret. You want to make sure that an E on your low E is also on the 12th fret on the same string and E as well when you tune it up. Have the, you should have the app ready that's called Clear Tune. That's what I use. And then it just goes through. You know that um, your string is an E, A, D, G, B, E, and you want to make sure that those are all in tune. And you want to do the same thing for your 12th fret. So that's something you can do anyway, right? Anytime you're picking guitar, make sure those are all in tune. I'm going to be here weekly, daily, tune in, comment, and uh, we can have conversations about it. Tell me what you want to hear, tell me what you want to know, and, uh, and I'll do my best to give you whatever information I have and uh, play you some songs. And hopefully, you'll play some songs. I wanna hear your songs too. 